All right, so my husband's gonna come and help me. You guys, give this video a big thumbs up because he does not enjoy being in videos. He's doing this for us, so thumbs up this video. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hi guys, it's Felicia with Happy Ever After Living and in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I've been on this 100 pound weight loss journey for one year. I'm gonna try to make this video as quickly as possible, but we've got a lot to chat about. So after I was on my weight loss journey for about one year, I was able to lose around 38 pounds. What I did then, what, what I did at that one year mark was I took a freaking break. Yes, I did. I took a break because I started thinking about whenever I was trying to pay off $170,000 of debt all year, I would just like go extremely hard, be extremely frugal. Everything was going towards debt. And then in the month of December, the 12th month, we would use whatever we were using to pay towards debt. We would use that amount and we would buy the things that we had been wanting all year. Okay, so if you're following like the chronological order of this channel, so like week 52 like ended from the previous journey and like this would be the beginning of like week 53 like moving forward okay now i also want to say i wanted to challenge myself because if you've done anything for a year a solid year like first of all be extremely proud of yourself i'm proud of myself i even did a video here talking about that one year journey i'll link it here yeah so definitely be proud of yourself but like I needed a challenge. I needed something fun, exciting, and different. And that is what we're gonna talk about today. I am creating, I have created a 12 week challenge for myself. I will share this with you guys as soon as possible. But for now, as you guys know, I'm a physical therapist. So I've basically taken myself on as a client, as a patient, whatever we wanna call it. And I've created a plan of care. So I wanna talk to you guys about my first week on this 12 week transformation. I'll be sure to share all the details here. I'll recap every week, all the goodies. So first, what I like to share with you guys are the things that went right. So what went right was that number one, I sat down and I thought about what it was that I wanted to do. And then I created a plan. Like I wanted something that would be fun and exciting as well as challenging for myself. Battery's dying, hold on. My battery died. Why do things like that only happen when you're in a hurry? Okay, the next thing that went extremely well for me was that I went and I purchased myself a fitness planner. This planner is from the Happy Planner. I put a different cover on it. So just look for a Happy Planner fitness planner. As a matter of fact, what I did was I took an old planner and I purchased inserts from Amazon. I'll be sure to link this down in the description box for you guys. But yeah, I created, um, I purchased a fitness planner and then I started creating a plan for myself. And I'm one of those people that do very well with like checking stuff off. It just makes me feel so accomplished and satisfied. And that works for my personality type. So that is something that went extremely well. Um, something else that went well was that I actually lost weight. Yes, I'm gonna talk about that here in a little bit. Um, but I also wanna share with you guys what went wrong because actually more things went wrong than things did like going right. Okay, so what went wrong was that as a physical therapist like whenever it comes to like my work i take my work extremely serious like i am about 
I am very goal oriented. I want my patients to progress, get better, meet their goals, meet their functional goals, whatever it is they want to have less pain, whatever. So one thing that went wrong with me taking myself on as a client was that I was way too serious. Like I had sucked. <laughs> I sucked all the fun out of it and not that it wasn't fun but it was just very and that doesn't work for my personality like I have Felicia the therapist and then like Felicia like I like fun and flow and yeah so I had to like step back a little bit because I had created a program that was just way too structured for myself and I didn't consider life okay like i didn't consider my schedule ahead of time my schedule as far as work like i had the program but i didn't think about like how will this affect like my work schedule my family life all of that stuff like is this even realistic is it possible all of that stuff guys so that was something that went wrong um something else that went wrong looking at my phone here um yeah so i planned three weight training three weighted workouts per week and I did not plan or intend on the amount of muscle soreness. You guys know that me adding in more weight training is something that is a little bit newer since I've been on this 100 pound weight loss journey. I've lived the weights before, but like in this life, this is still a little bit new for me. So I did not anticipate the amount of muscle soreness. So what actually ended up happening was that I only did two days of the weight training versus the three days that I had actually plan for and that kind of like messed up my head a little bit because I didn't get to check off the box but it's fine it's fine so I decreased my weight training to two versus three times something else that went bad whenever I was tracking like for instance when I was tracking all of my meals like when I was tracking all of my meals and all of my steps and everything I was doing extremely well but as the week became more busy and I didn't track them, oh my gosh, everything just went downhill. Like I was, I, it was bad. It just did not work out well. And on that same token, something else that did not go well is the fact that my husband is now participating more in the cooking. And I guess I didn't like verbalize exactly what my needs are as far as like the way that I currently eat. Because like for instance, one night he made, um, he made like this pasta dish or whatever. And I came in and like he was getting ready to serve dinner and I was like, what am I supposed to eat? <laughs> and then he gives me the box and he's like, this is good. Like these are veggie noodles and they're low carb. And I'm sorry, he's like, there's not that many calories per serving. And I was like, I know, but I don't eat noodles. Like I don't, and he's like, oh. And he just felt like, he looked so disappointed. Man. I was disappointed too because I was just like, what am I supposed to eat? So then I had to like throw something together and then the next day, so that night I said to him, I was like, you know, I eat salads, like proteins, like, and a little bit of fat for dinner. Like that is what I eat. So the next two nights I got this bag of salad from Walmart and I just love yummy salads. If you guys saw my last video, you saw where I talked about this a little bit. So that was something that went wrong too. However, he said to me earlier this week, he's like, okay, he's like, so you like good salads, you like protein and you like fat for dinner, right? And I was like, yes. So I think moving forward, he'll be able to nail those. But if not, as you guys saw in my last video, I have my little salad jars in the refrigerator ready to go. All right, guys. So here I want to go back and here I want to go back and show you guys like my measurements because I had my husband to actually measure me. So we're going to go back and talk about the measurements. And then after that, we're going to come back and then I'm going to share with you guys how much weight I lost this week. All right, let's do that. Okay guys, so one thing about this 12 week program is that I don't want to just go by the scale because I will be lifting weights. So I also want to do measurements. I've been putting this off for so long, but I'm going to have my husband come and help me measure. I am going to collect measurements at my neck abdomen area like across the belly button and also at my waist which is across the hips and then i'll also measure my arms thigh and calf muscles also i'll back up real quickly so you guys can get a quick look at how my body currently looks Initially when I thought I would start this 12 week transformation, at first I was just thinking about the number on the scale. I truly wanted to get under 220, 
but there is a chance I may gain weight or just maintain my weight, but hopefully I will lose some inches. Let's see. All right, let me get the measurements. All right, guys, so I will say that one of my challenges for this 12-week program is trying to find the right mix between cardio and weights. Um, I know that some people have a hard time putting on muscle. That is not my problem. Like, I have been um, track and field athlete. I've been in the military. Like, for me, putting on muscle is not, it's not a hard thing to do. But when I do put on muscle, I tend to, like, it's more bulky than, like, lean muscle. I mean, if you think about it, I play basketball, so, like, my body is used to like fast twitch muscle fibers. You know how you see like the legs of sprinters, like track and field athletes, not the long distance runners, but the sprinters. So that is pretty much what my body's used to. So I am trying to find like a way to lift weights, um, but also not gain a lot of weight. Like I know I will gain some weight, but I don't want to put on a ton of muscle mass because I'm still trying to shred a little bit. So that's something that I'll be playing with um, during these 12 weeks. So it'd be interesting to see if my quads, if my legs get bigger or smaller. That's going to be interesting. Let me put my hair up first. Hold that. We got to measure my neck. I'm gonna write them down here on the paper. Okay. Oh, my abdomen, so right around the belly button, like this. So when you measure around the abdomen, you wanna make sure it goes like around your belly button. You can pull a little bit more snug. Not snug, but like, there we go. Oh, I was holding my stomach in. Okay, there we go. Let me let my stomach out, get a true measurement. 44. Uh, 44 inches, okay. All right, and then around the waist, you wanna go like around the hips here. Go down a little more, lower, right there. Like if you rotate your leg like this, you can feel your hip bone. So you kind of want to go around that area. 46. 46. All right, now let's do the right arm. We're going to measure both sides. I mean, they should be the same, but not everyone's the same. Here? Yeah. Yes. So when you measure your arms, you want to go, let's go this way so they can see. When you measure your arms, you want to go around the middle of the bicep. So right there in the middle. 17. 17 inches on the right. And then what do we have on the left? Hmm? Right there? Uh-huh. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. It's more like 16 in there. <laughs> 16 and a half. That would be the one, 16 and a half on the left side. Is that it? 16.5. Okay, now we gotta measure the thigh. So with the thigh measurement, you wanna go in the middle of your quadricep here. So right there. You can also measure halfway if you wanted to, but I know what mine is, right here. These legs. <laughs> Twenty-seven inches on the right, and then the left. Oh, and try not to be in like a flex position. My my leg is like up a little, but it's it's loose. Like I'm not flexing. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven, and then the calf, and we're done. Twenty-seven, both sides, and now we're gonna measure the gastroc, which is also your calf muscle. So. 
17 and then let's move this down a little bit more. So 17 inches on the right. 17. And 17 inches on the left. Thank you. Thanks, babe. All right, so as I mentioned to you guys, I took a little bit of a break. I wasn't focused on like what I was eating. Like I stayed away from sugar, flour. <gasps> you guys, I had sugar. Oh yes, first time in like over a year. So what happened was we were celebrating, I'll insert a picture here, our oldest son's graduation, and he had, he wanted carrot cake. So I was putting the carrot cake away, like when it was all said and done and i was putting it away and carrot cake used to be one of my favorite cakes the one from publix i don't know if you guys have a Publix in your area but their carrot cake is bomb so i what <laughs> i licked it like i i licked my hand and then after that i was like oh like i remember what it tastes like so i started picking out like the little walnuts that are in it and then like let's just be real some of the walnuts had like little pieces of cake attached to it and then i was like stop girl you better stop yourself you already know you can't so yeah i did have some of that yummy icing and it was good so in case anyone is wondering do i not eat sugar because i don't like sugar no girl i love sugar it was amazing i am a sugar addict and it's just an, a no-go for me okay so back to me taking a little bit of a break i actually went on a vacation took our nieces and nephews out i'll insert some pictures here we had so much fun and i want to say that i love that trip because i just felt i wore like a swimsuit two piece the whole time i think i had a one piece one day whatever but i just felt so confident and um it was just giving me all the rich auntie vibes like just to have that time with them i totally loved it okay so once i got back on track because you guys know my lowest weight on this journey has been 222.0 right but when i weighed in on june 6th i weighed in at 227.6 so that was like a gain of um like five pounds or whatever okay so this week when i weighed in on monday june 13th i weighed in at 226 point two so i lost 1.4 pounds and i think that is incredible i'm really proud of myself this goes to show because you guys know one of my challenges for myself was to be able to still lose weight like lose fat as i'm also building muscle so yeah that's it that's all i have for this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe i will be sharing with you guys this 12 week transformation i am hoping like i'm hoping that it's amazing and it's great but if not like if i still if i end up like gaining weight or something or i don't know i'm still gonna share it with you guys anyways but i'm really hoping that i will see a lot of success because 12 weeks will close out the summer for us so if you love to see those videos, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.